Well, during the vote to impeach former President Dilma Rousseff, Mr. Bolsonaro dedicated his ballot to one of the regime's most notorious torturers. This man was convicted of torture during the 21 years of military dictatorship. Last year, your president called him a national hero. 502 cases of torture were identified in the unit he ran. You have nice heroes in your administration these days, don't you? Oh, first of all, we don't, uh, we don't agree with torture. Torture is, uh, is not uh, a politics that our country is sympathetic to it. And, of course, when uh, there is a lot of people that fought the urban guerrillas during the late 60s and beginning of the 7th of last century, and many of these people have been uh, wrongly accused of being torturers. So Colonel Carlos Alberto Ustra was wrongly accused, and you also think of him as a hero, do you? Despite the cases, the 500 cases of torture which were attributed to his unit. What I can tell you about the man Carlos Alberto Brilliante Usta, he was my commanding officer in the late 70s of the last century. And he was a man of uh, honor and a man who respect the human rights of his subordinates. So many of things that people tell about him, I can tell you because uh, I had a very close friendship with this man. That's not true. So he was wrongly convicted then of torture, was he? It was all made up. Well, the the trial was fixed. Uh, first of all, I'm not, I'm not aligned with the uh, with torture, and uh, of course, many people are still alive from that period, and all of, all of them want to put things in the way that they saw. That's why I told you before that we have to wait for all these actors to disappear, so that history can make its part. And of course, what really happened during that period, that period come true.